Welcome back to a mental health break. I'm your host and author of the book, Mr. Lancey Talks Mental Health, Vincent A. Lancey. And I'm Claudio. Uh, I'm the owner of A Bloody Writer, abloodywriter.com, a new website that I just launched uh, in December. And the person that's behind a bloody Insta, a cool Instagram account. <laughs> well, right. Thank you so much for coming on. And today, listeners, we have a very special episode as it is the first bonus episode of How Writing Helps. So why did I create this platform? When I was 21 years old, I was the victim of a hit and run accident while on foot. After coming out of a coma and suffering from a traumatic brain injury, or you may know of as a TBI, I soon realized it was time to put my mental health on a very high pedestal. This transformative experience has led me to create this podcast that is all things mental health. Each week, I interview mental health professionals and advocates to share their stories relating to mental health. As I released the COVID Talks bonus series a few months ago, I will now introduce the second bonus series called How Writing Helps. Writing is one of my favorite ways to manage my stress and take care of my mental health. There are many forms of writing that we can engage in, and I will bring on writers of all forms to discuss how their writing has improved their mental health journey. Today also marks another first for the show as it is the show's first interview in Italy. Born in Sicily in 1997, he studied and began writing on the island until 19 years old. At that point, he had now moved to Turin to study another lifelong passion. Words always meant a lot to today's guest, so much that he decided to major in public and political communication while also starting a freelance career in speech writing. At the end of last year, he launched his website and brand called abloodywriter.com, which shares advice, thoughts, ideas, and rules about the writing world. And of course, we will learn all about this guest's overall mental health and how they use writing as a tool to improve it each day. Allow me to now introduce Claudio Longitano. Claudio, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you for letting me let him in in the show. Absolutely. Would you mind please introducing yourself a little more to our listeners and share part of your story before we get in and get going? And also, please share your role relating to mental health. Yeah, sure. So I'm Claudio, as I already told, and as you present me. Uh, and I'm right uh, since I was uh, like nine years old, something like this. Uh, it, it was always a passion because it helped me to, to cope with things. Uh, I didn't have a, a diary, uh, a journal where I wrote things that came into my, into my mind. I just brought uh, like pieces, uh, I like to call the five, side, uh, the five side pieces because it's basically something that I always write in a piece of paper and then I throw into the fire. And it's really fun because it helps me. Uh, it gives me a great stability because if I need to tell something to the world and I can't because I'm obviously a normal person, I just write it into a piece of paper and then I throw it into the fire and be a little bit better with myself and with my, with my mind, with my psyche. Uh, it, it's just it's just relaxing to write, and so uh, all the time I turn my passion something that just helped me uh, with with my with my mental health, in something that actually makes me happy and keeps 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 me sane. It's yes. it's really it's really a great way to to relax your nerves to write down what you think, and then you can and start writing a book or, I don't know, making a blog like mm. I just did with my website or whatever. Uh, it, it's just something that helps. I love it. I love the passion behind your writing. And I also love the early references to the mental health, which is why we're on this show. And I think it will be a great time to get into the main event. 
On each episode, my guest and I go over a series of questions to help others improve their mental health. For each bonus series, which is COVID Talks and now How Writing Helps, they will have their own series of questions. You ready to go, Claudio? Yeah, absolutely. Great. So many would agree that the more common or talked about types of mental health disparities are mood disorders, anxiety disorders, or schizophrenia disorders. What areas did you or do you experience? So I suffered for a little bit of anxiety and I'm in an on and off uh, relationship with my depression. <laughs> and I talk openly and, uh, and in, like in a humorous way, in a comedic way, in a comic way of my depression, because I think that's one of the way to cope with something big like depression, like anxiety. You, you need to have something that is a, something to let off the steam. To, to let you escape from, from the normal reality of every day. And I think writing just helps. Plus, if you are mentally uh, tranquil, if you are um, psychologically calm, you write better and you feel a satisfaction, a satisfaction when, when you write something that is actually good. So it's, it's kind of a loop that uh, brings you more happiness while curing your anxiety, your, your sadness. So it, it, it's, a, it's a learning curve. It's, a, it's something that you must learn, but it's something that can actually help you in improving your mood and improving your, your condition and being mentally stable and better. Yes, exactly, man. I feel the same way with my writing where it's a way I can, it's an outlet, I guess you could say, where yeah. I have my writing and whether it's for a book or like I said, it comes in different forms, whether it's journaling or writing templates for podcasts, I think it's all very therapeutic in a way. But now let's touch a little bit on your writing. Let's talk about how your writing journey began. So I already mentioned it. I started writing when I was like nine and, 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 and it just uh, grew over time. It's a passion that I always had. And, and alongside with politics, it's something that uh, just keeps me up, and, uh, up and, and running. It keeps me happy. It makes me feel happy. And uh, it just started like a like a game because when you are a child, when you're just nine years old, it's a game. Everything uh -huh. is a game. So it, it started as a game, then it begin uh, it, it it became like uh, I don't know. Or uh, something more structural, something something mm -hmm. not mm, not too simplistic like it was when I was a child. Uh, and so I started to write articles for some for some newspaper. I started to write poems just for me, and I threw it into the fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I and then I started writing stories for my friends. So my friends asked me, I oh, oh, I you know I was wondering if you could write me this story because I don't know I want to read something. Now I know you can write. And I know you're a good writer. And so that it, it just started. Uh, I started writing for my friends and over time I became better and better. And I was already a good writer without bragging, but I was already a good writer. And, and then nothing, I just started with my novels and, and, with, my, and with my blogs and with my everything, then I stopped. <laughs> well, look how it's all evolving. You know, it started as something that was a passion and you've continued to work at it. And the good thing about your passion is how many benefits they do have for your mental health. So yeah. what are two things that you do on a daily or short term basis to make you feel mentally healthy? Uh, so uh, it's a kind of a twofold uh, journey because uh, it's, it's a daily journey, actually. 
And it's twofold because uh, the first thing in the morning is wake up with a good mood. So I wake up always with a different song. I got my phone like uh, a new alarm with a different song. Almost always it's a classical music because I love classical music, but it keeps me, I, I mean, it, it helps me to wake up in a better way, like relaxed already. And then I start with my daily routine, which is just, well, I mean, after doing the hygienic stuff, everybody does, <laughs> it just starts studying or researching something or writing when I need to, to write for a speech, which almost always involves studying and researching in the first place, but anyway, and that's something that actually helps me. It, it, it truly helps me to, to study, to research for my writing. It's something that really helped me, helped me out. Um, that's, that's what I do uh, on a short term basis. On a long run, on the long run, I, I, I try to figure out while making outline or trying to, to catch some little stories here and uh, I try to, to focus on what is that I'm doing with my writing and what it can be, become uh, over time. Mm -hmm. And I'm, after some years of writing like novelettes and, and trying to write novels, I stopped and look into the mirror and say, okay, that's it. I need to start writing a novel that I want to finish because that's the problem with novels. Uh, I always started it. I started them. And then I lost them because of, uh, I don't know, laziness, <laughs> mostly. Uh, and so one day I look in, into the mirror and say, okay, that, that's it. I need, <laughs> I need to finish a novel. And this is the long term, the long yeah. run journey that, that is keeping me mentally sane, knowing that I need to finish that novel, knowing that I need <laughs> to finish a novel that started five years ago <laughs> and it's becoming like a, a company. It, it's, it's, it's really a companionship. Yeah, well, you're doing great work and that's obviously how we connected, but writing is your passion. We do know that it's a great way to express ourselves, a great way to improve our mental health. What is your favorite form of writing? Is it writing novels? Is it what do you got? Journaling? That, that's that's a good question. That's really a good question. Uh, it's it's probably the five side pieces. It's probably writing just little poems or little phrases or or some paragraph like little paragraph, not 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 really something uh, important or something that. Uh, require your your attention too much. It, it's something that just came out, that just comes out every time, and you then you then burn it. You, you you're absolutely uh, without any form of attachment and, and need for that piece of writing. I mean, when it's really really good, maybe maybe I could save the pieces, maybe. <laughs> if it's really good what I'm writing in that piece of paper, I save it. But most of the time it's just writing those little phrases and sentences and poems and then burn it. And it's really fun for me. Not something normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's excellent to hear that. But now let's touch on what projects you're currently working on. So I'm working on uh, three main projects, uh, the novel, as I already said, the website, which is a blog and a website. Uh, so where I post like academic article, academic with a quotation, with hair quotes, uh, like I take um, every piece of research I, I make into the writing world and then I translate it into an article that it's easy for people and they don't have to, to go make a, an extensive research. Something that I noticed on the blog is that uh, most of the time, 
uh, people that write a blog write their their own thoughts. It's not like this is a rule because mm. a, a scientific community said is a rule. This is a rule because I'm saying it. But you are a blogger, and a blogger is not a. It, it, it could be part of a scientific community, but it's if it's not supported by by sources, uh, by notes, by by academy, by the scientific community, it's 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 not a rule, and you can't say this is a rule. Yeah. So that's uh, that that's the main project uh, with the website where I I started writing article with academic sources with uh, scientific uh, with a scientific community behind uh, and of course the blog itself and this is the main project I have and this is what I'm currently working on uh, the novel the website with the article and the blog itself that is mostly fun and of course, I'm I'm a speech writer. <laughs> I'm a freelance speech writer. Yeah. But there's something else. That's yeah. that's work. Well, I love the passion you displayed this whole episode. So thank you so much for coming on, Claudio. I love how you, you also brought up mental health before I even asked you about mental health. So that's a great value you added to the show. Your experiences will not only resonate to writers, which is the goal of this show, by even talking about your recent projects, but also encouraging folks who struggle with mental health disparities to pick up a pen, grab a pad of paper, or hop on the computer and start typing away. But it is time for the last word. And I also do this on my other podcast series, That Entrepreneur Show, because I want the listeners to really get to know all the guests I bring on. Is there something that you would like to share that we did not touch on yet today? Uh, I think there is one little thing that I could share. And it's for all the people out there who want to write and want to write because they want to make a job in writing. Please, please do not think this job is easy, but neither think that this job is impossible. Uh, writing is not just a passion, it could be a job. It can be a job and it must be a job when you want to be it. Your job, your main, uh, way of living and and make a living out of writing just study how to write better just improve yourself over time with writing with the writing world with the scientific community uh, read books not just on creative writing but also in, in linguistics uh, in, uh, in sem um, semantics in grammar read whatever book you can for improving your skill mm -hmm. and, and, and try to be uh, on a, with, with a better mood of a role to, to make out of writing a living. But always remember, it's not easy. <laughs> it's, not, it's not impossible, it's not easy. Yes, I love, the, I love the encouraging of writing. Would you now please take the time to share your professional social media website, all of that one more time so our listeners can engage with you? Yeah, uh, so uh, bloodywriter.com is my main website. It's really, really a good website. You should check, him, check it out. Uh, Bloody Insta is my Instagram account. You can check also Bloody Writer on Facebook. I'm already there and like with not so much followers because I don't use Facebook so much. That's, that's a problem for maybe. Uh, you should totally DM me on Instagram if you want to talk about like writing or you want to net about writing I, it's really fun for me and um, join the community on a bloody writer become a bloody member and it is also social media time for the show and we're on whichever platform you like to use we're at a mental health break on linkedin facebook and instagram and on twitter we're at podcasts by lancy so you have updates from this show and that entrepreneur show of course, my handles on all social media and YouTube are at Vincent A. Lancy, and my website is vincentalancy.com. If you check out any of my books, DM me. I would love to hear from you. We have Mr. Lancy Talks Mental Health, Left for Dead, A Story of Redemption, and How to Transform Your Mindset When the Norm Has Changed, 
all are on my website now. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate the show five stars and continue listening by subscribing. That's all for this week, and I'll see you all on the next episode of A Mental Health Break.